All right, this is how you swap between your VR controllers and the Xbox controller on No Man's Sky. The first thing you want to do is turn on your Xbox controller and make sure it's connected to your PC. So once it's connected, you can put it down and then you can launch No Man's Sky. It works on Steam and Game Pass, it's the same thing. So you hit No Man's Sky VR, launch it, okay? Steam VR will launch and you'll get into No Man's Sky. From here you can swap to your controller if you want or you can just launch a game first. Once you're in a game you can see this is the VR controls. So you put down your controllers, put it on a flat surface, pick up your Xbox controller, just tap a few buttons and you're set. Now you're using the Xbox controller. So for shooting you use this aiming on your head, it's like a face lock. Which is why on foot, I prefer to use the touch controllers. But for flying... It's a lot better for flying if you use the Xbox controller. So on ground, prefer to swap to touch controllers, you just pick them up. It's much better, more intuitive, you can shoot and aim like this. That's it. To set up the whole test stick, first you want to download X360 CA. So technically you don't have to use this if you're playing via Steam, but if you're using Game Pass, you need to use this. So I'm going to use this emulator because it works for both Steam and Game Pass versions of No Man's Sky. So click on download, extract it somewhere, can be anywhere, double click to launch it. Okay, once you're inside, install whatever drivers they ask you to. So once you're done installing the drivers, add your joystick in, click on add, and then add whichever joystick you're using, add selected. So now the controls are going to be mapped using an Xbox controller to your hotel's joystick. So you can choose and select. Press record to individually do the buttons or you can press auto and it fills up most of it and then you just customize from here. And once you're done customizing, just press save all. So this needs to be running when the game is running. However, I prefer to run it after the game is launched. So I'm going to close it for now and then launch No Man's Sky like you normally would. So once you're inside your ship, minimize the game. Launch X360 CE and your settings should be good to go and go back to the game. And now you can control it with a joystick, hold us. So there are some downsides to this. It is not 100% accurate, so you, if you want to change the menu settings, you're going to have to move around a bit. And you can't switch between controllers. So I only recommend using a joystick hold us when you're in flight mode and nothing else. If you want to switch back, just minimize the game and exit the emulator. See if I try to switch back to VR controls, it gets buggy. See you can see my hands flickering. So it's not advised to switch between like this. If you want to switch back to VR controls, you're going to have to pause the game and quit the X360 app to get back into VR controls.